Hey everybody, Sean Tubbs here. Welcome to my studio. I've got an overdrive pedal to show you today. It's made by a company in California uh, called B-Tronics and it's called the Overhive. There it is there. Really nice looking pedal, really unique artwork. Um, really good sounding uh, versatile overdrive. So let's just go right into the settings. Uh, at the very top of the pedal you'll see uh, a small potentiometer uh, on the top left. That's the tone control, so that's basically your tone. Left is darker, right is brighter. On the top right side, you'll see another mini potentiometer, and that's your volume, so that's the output of the pedal. The big potentiometer in the center is called Honey. It's basically the gain. It's the amount of gain that you can generate from the pedal. There's two two-way toggle switches. On the right, you have uh, what's called the body switch. And basically, up is more low end, down is less low end. And then on the other side, on the left, you've got another switch called the hive switch. And basically, the way it works is it's looser in the up position and it's tighter in the down position. Um, now, all of these controls uh, work really well uh, together. So I'll, I'll kind of get into that when we, uh, we demo it. Uh, but uh, they're all very usable controls. And then, of course, on uh, your in, ins and outs are on the uh, left and right sides of the box. There's your DC, 9-volt uh, DC. And then in this case, uh, which is unique, you've got uh, your lights actually on the side of the box. And it's, it's a jewel, which looks really cool. Um, so that's just another thing that kind of makes it unique, and it's true bypass. Um, really, really well built uh, pedal. So yeah, without further ado, let's uh, let's check out this uh, Overhive by Btronics. Okay, let's check out this Overhive Overdrive by Btronics. I'm going to use my uh, uh, PRS McCarty 58 into the Cerebella dialed really, really clean. So here's just the guitar and amp sound. And I'll just start with basically what was kind of my favorite setting on the uh, Overhive. I really liked this setting for uh, soloing especially, but it also backed off really well. So yeah, it's a nice overdrive. It's got kind of this woolly, almost kind of, almost fuzz kind of texture to it that I really dig in the top end that, that worked really nicely uh, in the performance track that I did at the top uh, for soloing. <laughs> Okay, so let's go through some of these settings. Um, let's just look at the gain real quick, and, it, and that does kind of change. Um, the, uh, the control here that's actually called Honey controls uh, the gain, and that can change depending on uh, how you have the, uh, the body and hive uh, switches set. I'm going to leave them where they are now, and let's just roll the gain. So that's all the way off.
So pretty good sweep there of, uh, of gain. I wouldn't say it's like this mass amount of gain, but this amp is dialed super clean too. So you have to keep that in mind. If you had a little bit of gain happening here or just a bit of breakup or overdrive, then you'd have more gain happening to the front end of the amp. Okay, now let's just look at the, uh, the switches. Let's start with the body switch. And basically, um, it's more low end when the switch is in the up position, less low end when it's in the down position. So I'll just go ahead and sweep that back and forth. There's a little bit less gain there, um, so it just, once again, it just kind of depends on how you want to dial it. Um, you could just go ahead and add gain back in, and then if you wanted a little more top, you could roll the tone up. But yeah, it's a, it's a useful control for sure. And if you know the box, you can you can definitely dial in some really great stuff. So that's what that's doing on that side. Now the hive switch is basically uh, up is looser, down is tighter. So right now it's in the uh, the down position, which would be the tighter sound. And it really just uh, feels tighter. Now I'll go ahead and throw it in the up position, which would be the looser setting. So it does sound uh, looser in that up position, but it's also a little bit bigger. And you do get a little bit more top end and a little bit more gain. So once again, you can kind of adjust if that feels really good, but it's a little bright, you can back the tone off. Or, you know, back the gain off if it added a little too much gain. It's just a, it's a real dialable pedal that's set up pretty darn simple, which I, I appreciate. Um, it's really easy to, you know, it just seems like a, a very intuitive design. Um, one of the sounds that I really dug, well here, real quick, let's roll the, the tone. I didn't do that, so you guys can hear it. I'll put the switches both in the down position. We'll put the gain about noon. So here's the tone off. Which, by the way, I really appreciate it when when the tone's rolled off and the box is actually sounding darker. Um, it's always kind of hard for me when the tone's rolled off and the box is still really, really bright. And there's arguments for and against that as far as how open it sounds and things like that. But, but I like to be able to actually have the box sound dark. So that's the tone all the way off. I'm going to roll it up to about noon. Roll it up a little bit more. sweep on that tone um, and and pretty darn uh, usable across the whole range. Um, so one of the things I kind of discovered with it, especially as I was uh, running kind of higher gain stuff, is that it was really cool in certain uh, positions. Um, you know, we'll go ahead and dime the gain and maybe go neck position. And just try the switches kind of up, one up, one down. <laughs> this once again really cool kind of fuzz characteristic and even in like 
like split coil, like we'll go ahead and do more of a single coil neck. just super usable combinations just by just kind of tweaking and experimenting uh, with just different settings everything is super usable and I found that you could get like these almost what I call tiny amp sounds where you know you're in a like a studio situation and, and you know you just want like a small little tweed amp sound and I found it was really great for things like that all the way up to the big solo tones and um, it really likes single coil sounds um, so yeah, that pretty much uh, covers it. It's it's a good sounding box, man. And uh, yeah, if you've got any questions, uh, go to btronics.com and they'll answer them. And in the meantime, uh, please subscribe if you're uh, enjoying these videos and uh, I'll have some more coming up soon. Thanks, you guys.